Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Wolfpack Fishing. It's been a while. I haven't been fishing for over a month because of that knee injury and then the rock hopping hurt it. We got some ice here in Ohio. I haven't been ice fishing for two years. And I wasn't even sure if I was going to get to go. A big sickness came over, but whew, still got a little fever, but had to get out here. And looky, looky. First fish through the eye. Nice fat perch, too. Just got set up. I'm out here at Pima Tuning Reservoir. Came out here to 23 feet deep. I've never ice fished out of this section, so I didn't have any pings. I didn't really want to come out to 23 foot. I wanted to <clears throat> kind of set up around 16, 18, but now I can start pinging some marks, depth marks on my Google Maps. I'm going to try here a little longer. I just, like, finished setting up, uh, and that jaw jacker went off, and got that fat perch, but it's a little chilly out, gonna set up that, uh, get the heater going, start jigging, so we've got, got that vex out, I see a couple fish down there on the bottom, there are a few fish here, uh, I wanted to leave at 5 a.m., you know, because it was walleye, they're pretty twilight biting fish and uh i wanted to get out here and set up before daybreak i was just so so i'm just so sick i needed my rest and it took forever getting all my ice fishing stuff together because we didn't have good ice in ohio last year except for a couple days while i was at work so um we're gonna fish into dark tonight um let's see what we can get into hey don't forget like subscribe really appreciate it all right. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. 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 Fish. I'm gonna start off with this W5 or two inch UV green jigging wrap. I'm gonna go ahead and tip that with a minnow head, drop that on down there. I see a few fish on my Vexlar down there playing around on the bottom, too. It's a pretty good sign. exciting here we go here we go come on oh 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 damn oh jesus oh lord have mercy oh what we got here? Ooh, hello. Look at that. Oh, you're a big boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, there's one nice white bass. Wow, look at that, huh? That is a damn fine white bass. Hmm. Let's get you back in. Thank you. Thank you.
Yes, got one. As soon as I dropped it down, hell yeah. What do I got here? Oh, look at that, I got a walleye. Oh my God, I got a walleye. Dude, as soon as I dropped it down, do you guys see that? Do you guys see that? Look at that. Ah, walleye. Oh, foul jacker. We got a popper. Oh, I got two fish. Oh. Oh. I got two fish. Oh my god. Oh no, never mind. I'm tangled up on that one. jizzed on me. It's a nice looking white bass. Nice looking white bass.
no, no, get back in there. No. I'm gonna try one of these Z Vibers. Whatever they're called, the little micro one here. Yeah. The micro unit, see if we can pick up some fat perch on that. Tip that with a waxy down there. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, this oh, is a good fish. He skyrocketed up off the bottom to hit this, too. Oh yeah. Oh look at that. That's a nice perch. We skyrocketed like two feet off the bottom, three foot, just shot right up to get that. Oh, you're a good perch. <coughs> oh, here we go. Come on, he's on it. Mm -mm. No. No. Oh, he's coming back. It might be a walleye. That was a decent mark. He left. Oh, he's coming back. He's circling it. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Well, that's a good mark. This has got to be a walleye. He's not just hammering it. Oh, it left. He's, oh, he left. Yeah, that's a walleye. Definitely. That's a huge mark. It's a walleye. It'll do it a lot, though. Circle back and circle around and look at it. Sucks that fish came in so hot and heavy. Circled around on it a couple times and then left. Oh, oh, what a tease! Hmm. I'm gonna stick with. I really like the jig and minnow styles, man. I really like them. I'm gonna stick with that. I'm gonna put on a smaller, smaller size one here. Let's go with them. UV green. Let's go. Mix it up a little bit here. Let's go. A little blue chrome. Let's see what old blue chrome does down there. Pound the mud a little bit there. Pounded the mud, brought that fish right in. Ooh, 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 ooh I'll take you. Yes, I will. Jingle Bell Rock, baby. That don't look like anyone's on it. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. Not a big fish, though.
Oh, I'll take you. Yes, I will. some lunch. Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. Hey, is that uh, you and the two guys walking out right now? Yep, yep, Tan Carhartts. Yeah, I'm 23 feet deep right here. I didn't mean to come this deep. If you see over there to, what would that be, to the west, there's a couple humps over there, and there's a couple humps out there. And then you can see those guys are way out there on a hump, which I'm not walking all the way out there. So, so I meant to actually stop a little bit further in, in about 16 to 18. Uh, out here, I, I lost one catfish. I've got three white bass, one little walleye, three perch, a nice crappie, and I'm getting a few other lookers. I had a couple big marks that were definitely walleye coming up, and you know how they come and go and come and go and come and go, but they just didn't want me. You guys might want to stop a little short of me and, and try a little shallower, because I know off the humps, you see where all those other people are? They're fishing shallower than I am. I'm kind of like in the middle of everything right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so if you want to come out to my direction, I'd stop a little short, you know what I mean? Because to the east, there was a little bit of a point coming out, and to the west, there's a little bit of a point coming out. And I kind of wanted to set up in the middle of them, but I came out a little too further because I didn't have any depth pings out here, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd pop a hole, check the depth, and then... You know, uh, if I don't get them, I might move it a little bit shallower, but let me know if you start getting them on them, all right, bud? And I'll, I'll let you know if I start getting on more fish out here, too. All right, all right, bye. I've had a couple big marks come in that were definitely walleye. Just zoom in, look at it, zoom out, sit on it for a while, go out, come back several times. Well, not several times, maybe maybe six of them. But uh, no takers yet. Just all these perch, which I'm I'm content with. Those white bass were really fun too. Things have definitely slowed down. Uh, B rad showed up. They stopped a little shallower because, like I said, I really didn't want to come out here to 23 foot. I kind of wanted to stop around the 18 foot mark, but now I got a ping on this spot, and uh, I didn't want to crowd in next to all the people on those humps. That's just, I just don't like crowding in right next to people, you know. But uh, I've tried a bunch of different lures. This UV, UV Tiger. Uh, W5 jigging ramp, man. It's the only lure I can get the bites on. That little tiny little Euro tackle thing. I hooked in the one on that, but I lost it with a waxy on it. So I might end up moving, moving a little bit shallower to like 2018. I don't know. 
I'm going to see if it picks back up. Because, I mean, I am getting a couple big fish coming in here and there. And it is the middle of the day. And you know how that is. Oh, yeah. Nice. $1.59 banquet beef pot pie. Warmed up on the heater there. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, time to eat. I want to bite slow here. Yeah, I'm not getting any more big marks. Lunch is done. Just a couple little small stuff coming off the bottom here and there. And they don't want nothing to do with my... It's not mine. <laughs> Thought I heard my jingle bells. Uh, they don't want nothing to do with my my walleye stuff, so... And I definitely got to switch over to perch stuff. So we're going to go with this little... Swedish pimple with a, a little gold Swedish pimple with a little fluorescent orange flare to it there. Oh, I hope this angle's right on this video. Tipped with a minnow head. I could do a waxy or two too, but I had a minnow head on hand. And when you got a minnow head on hand, you use it. Let's just drop that on down and See what they have to say about it, huh? Let's see what they got to say about it down there. Right. What y'all got to say about that, huh? Oh, geez, one's on it already. Wow. One's on it already. Just put it down there. Hmm. Oh, dang it. Pull it out of his mouth. Shucks. Oh, and he's gone. Oh, and he's gone. No. Oh, man. I needed you so bad. fish doesn't know how badly I needed it. I still got my minnow head. I better check. Yep. Still got my mini head. Yep, yep. Alright, let's send her on back down. Alright, have the fish down there. There's something moving around on the bottom. There's not very many fish coming through right now. Got him. Nice. Oh, it feels decent. Not a little tiny dinker. Oh, I got here. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, slay. Oh. Look at that. That's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're a beauty. Yes, you are. Damn, that's a nice perch. Oh, I'm pleased with you. Oh, he can swim around. Put your back here with the other ones. Well. <laughs> about a quarter inch of ice there because the heater <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, there's a little bigger here. Might be a walleye. Oh wow, wow. Look at that jumbo. Oh my goodness gracious. They don't want nothing to do with the waxies. Not at all. Not at all. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, man, you deep throated that. Yes, you did. You know, I've thought about moving a couple times. Like, man, there's no walleye going on here. And, you know, we're just perch. A walleye will be later. You know, uh, like my old grandpappy used to say, don't leave fish to find fish. And I'm, I'm getting a nice mess of perch. I'm pretty happy. I've definitely done a lot worse out ice fishing. Hey, really quick, if you watched a couple of my videos, you like my content, hit that like button. It helps my videos. I'd really appreciate a subscription, too. It doesn't cost you a dime. You can turn that notification bell on if you'd like to be notified when I post new videos. I don't post spammy garbage, little clips of, <clears throat> well, I do post uh, shorts. I have to. It's just part of YouTube thing, you know. But I don't make garbage videos, I think, anyways. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's been a great day out here at Pomatuna. Real fantastic. I just love ice fishing. Especially in Ohio, we don't get to do it that often. So it's it's a real treat when you get to come out here, you know. But look at that ice. That's a clear four inches. Is it from my one dirt there? It's my little lake. <laughs> look at that. That's a clear solid ice. I've been talking about wanting to make a move, so didn't really make that big of a move, maybe maybe 30, 40 yards closer to shore. I was out there at 23 feet deep. I came up on top of the drop off at 14 foot here. I was out there kind of 10 yards to the left of that blue shanty, but a lot of people out here today. I'm all set up. Out here at 14 foot, you know, it's getting later in the day. Maybe three and a half hours of daylight, so I figured I'd come in shallower. See what's happening, you know, while I are. Well, we like to think we know how while I are. Just got that one little one so far. So, whew. Am I worn out? Really glad I came out here to do this instead of sitting at home crying. Though. Well, I'm not gonna set my jaw jackers back up. I don't really catch that many walleye on them, anyways. They're just fun to set up. But if I'm fishing in the dark, I don't want to play around with them when it gets dark and really cold. I picked up this uh, ice scooper here. Nice little. This thing is hardcore, man. This is a new one. I've been using cheapies or an old fashioned metal one my whole life. But this thing is pretty hardcore. I like that. And they had a 7 inch scoop, but I just went with the 6. I mean, 
that's that's nice. You could even use this, you know, for your jaw jackers or tip ups to bust out the nice, really nice unit. That's a product of alternatives made in the USA too. Big bonus. Oh, I see a fish down there on the bottom of my vest. Alright, send it down an original. I'm gonna do a little more lightning. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Send down an original chrome and uh, black top. Tip of the middle head, size five, two incher. Yes, on the dead stick. Ooh, hello. Hello, beautiful. Yes, on the dead stick. Boy, I saw that out of the corner of my eye. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, bluegill. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious, Carl. What'd you get into up here? Well, I got a bluegill. There we go. What do we got here? Oh, smallest perch of the day. Uh, got a fish on this lure, though. That's cool. But I hope I didn't make a mistake moving. I really hope I didn't. I really hope I didn't. There we go. You'll keep. I'll take you. Yes, I will. Here comes another one. Oh, that's one. Boy, with these tickle sticks, it's just so easy to see that bite. With that flat tip, built-in strike indicator. So easy to see that bite. Real sensitive rod. I really like them. <laughs> well, I'm been to Dink City. That's what I did. I moved into Dink City.
cute little dinker. See you, buddy. All this is nice fish. Oh, it's wrapped up in my free and vex. That's a crappy. It's not that nice. Wonderful cube. Let's see. Bust out the little dipper XL. Give her a little pinch. Oh yeah, 10 inches. Gotta keep her. Oh, jeez. Pick out a spoon here and my, my dead stick's almost flying in the water. Oh, hello, Midnight Jumbo. I'll take you. Thank you. Ow. Oh, you're so sharp. It is dark out. Let's go double head here. Actually, head and half of a minnow. <laughs> Yes. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh. ooh. Ow. Ow, oh, careful. Don't hurt me. Damn, you're gassy as fuck. Oh, no, that's just your friend. <laughs> And I kind of like that minnow head back. Bunch of inquisitive little panfish keep on following it up, but it's too big for it. Might have to put on a have to put on a glow glow tungsten jig head with a little minnow on it or a mag if I wanted to get them. But I got plenty of panfish today. I'd really like to get a nice walleye. Got you. Uh, Why well, you came in like a rocket? Oh, little walleye. Yes. 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 He came in like a rocket. Not a. Not a keeper though. Not a keeper though. Story of my life. Ice fishing here. <laughs> See you, little bit.
Yes. Oh man. Oh, this is nice fish. Fish in the house. Yes, we do. Oh, I thought you were a walleye. Oh, I thought you were a walleye. Here you are, a silly catfish. Let's get you back in. Actually, you know what? Yeah, actually, you're a good eater. I'm gonna keep you. I'm gonna bleed you out. Now it's seven o'clock. <coughs> Just over an hour into dark. Just that one catfish after it got dark. I switched over to some glow spoons, tried some glow spoons. Had a couple decent lookers, um, mainly just little panfish coming up off the bottom. You can finesse those panfish. You put on some little glow pin mittens, a little wax or minnow head. You can get some crappie and stuff. I've just never really done too good. For, oh, wait. There's a bigger fish right there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now, see. Now, that was just a pound fish. Just because I got it on the zoom and I'm 14 feet deep. It just looks so big. So, pretty good day at Pima Tuning. Didn't get the big walleye I was looking for. Uh... A lot of guys out here left with zero, one, two, keeper walleye. Um, yesterday, the day before, there were some good limits caught. Uh, you know, it's always should have been here yesterday, but yesterday and the day before, too, it was three inches. <laughs> but, um, you know, that uh, UV size five jig and wrap, that was a hot ticket. Dead stick minnow, of course. Jaw jackers are a given. Maybe one day I should do a video about jaw jackers, what rods I use, how, you know, what kind of hooks I use and stuff. I actually use treble hooks with them. They work pretty good. Um, but that's going to wrap it up. Um, I'm probably not going to come back out here tomorrow. It's an hour and a half drive from my house. I think I'm the last guy on the lake right now. A herd of people went by me. <laughs> like a 40 people. Dragon went by me when the sun went down. But um, I think I might just stick around more local. Get some panfish tomorrow. But it was nice. I got a couple walleye. Same thing as when I came here two years ago. I got seven walleye. But every single one was undersized. So... Don't forget, like, subscribe if you like my content. Really help me out. Um, hey, make sure you guys are getting out there enough yourselves. You know, it's, we need this. I need it. I'm sick, and I'm out here. My legs feeling a lot better though. Got to get out when you can. Wolf pack out. I'll see you guys out on the water.